Hi everyone, Byron Martin here at Logies. Today we are right in the beginning of spring and we are in the big greenhouse or the big house here at Logies, which is really in full bloom at this time of year. And this is one of our old favorites. This is Genesta canariensis, Canary Island broom. It is actually a plant that's grown outside in California in areas that don't get severely cold. It can take it down into the 20s easily without damage. But here in the Northeast, we grow it in a greenhouse, coal greenhouses that is. And this one has been trained as a standard. It makes a beautiful standard in flower, but also out of flower, where you culture it and you can make topiary forms on the top of it uh, and keep them trimmed throughout the summertime so they can be used in landscaping or patio decorations and such. And then at the very end of summer, usually when we get down into August, September, we allow them to go into growth again. And then we bring them into a period of chill. So these go into a coal frame, a greenhouse that goes right down to freezing. Sometimes it freezes in there, but um, not too far into the 20s. And that chill actually is what stimulates the flowering on it. So as long as it's cool, the flowers keep coming. And this particular plant has been in the big greenhouse here, which uh, we've had warm weather and the nights have been warmer. So is probably not going to go through another blooming cycle, but they can. They can actually regrow and come into flower again well into springtime, and then of course the heat of summer comes along and puts them out of bloom. They're actually quite easy to grow with the exception of the need for very high light. They're not a low light plant. They'll get scraggly and they won't develop well. But other than that, they're really quite an easy plant to grow. They have do have some issues with spider mites as many of the um, legumes or the pea family do in greenhouse culture. So you have to keep your eye on that. Usually that's an issue when you bring them in in the fall, you need to do some preventative spraying on them just to make sure they're clean when you bring them into your uh, greenhouse or your sunroom. You don't have to grow them this big either. You can keep them as small pots. Everything can be trimmed. That's the cool thing about this plant. Just trim it back, trim it back, and remember at the end of summer, you let it go, cool it down, and then at this time of year, you'll have your flowers. And it doesn't take that many hours of chill. Usually if we're going in the range of December into January, you've had enough chill, you can bring the temperature up and cycle them into flower. In the summertime, we put them outside, trim them as I mentioned, um, they're fed. They do need fertilizer, even though they're in the legume family, they need fertilizer to keep them thrifty. Best thing to do is to dry the surface of the soil between waterings. They can have some root rot problems if you keep them really soaking wet especially in the summertime there's some of those summer moles that you might say that water moles that get into plants and can damage them uh, we grow them in plastic containers so they're really not terribly fussy in terms of the soil that take any average potting mix it's, it's incredibly fragrant it has a most beautiful it's almost got like a lemony smell to it and really for all of us that are standing here now in the greenhouses it just fills the whole greenhouse full of fragrance and the flowering cycle is quite long. It goes on for several weeks, maybe three or four weeks, depending upon how cool you keep it. If you keep it cooler, it'll cost the flowers will last longer. You can see here's a flower stem that's been going on and then another one coming along here. There's some younger buds in the tips here, but this has probably reached peak bloom right now. I can see some buds actually forming right down here in the tips, but if it doesn't stay cold, those will actually abort and go back into foliage. Well, thanks for watching. This is a really great winter blooming plant going into spring, our Canary Island broom. And if you'd like more information, you can visit us at logis.com.